there's a lady there. I want to pray for you. Let's break this spirit. That lady there, stand up. Yes. You can, you can stop there. I want to pray for you. Huh? Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. There's a spirit when you sleep. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Hush. When you sleep, my sister, there's a spirit that visits you all the time. Are you hearing me? Yes. And this spirit is working against your life. Very true. It's like when I'm looking at you like this, everything about you is caged. Because this spirit, it, it even affected the... Huh? Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. It's affecting your blood. Yes. Your blood circulation. Yeah. Huh? Yes. I'm seeing it's like sometimes it's stopping. Yes. Sometimes it comes when it wants. Yeah, it's been huh? a long time. Huh? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Yes. Come here. There's a spirit. This spirit is eating your blood. Yes. Are you hearing me? Eating your menstruation. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Because sometimes it doesn't come at all. Huh? Yeah. You find it's just dry. <laughs> come out! After I pray for you, you'll see what God will do. Are you hearing me? Yes. Huh? Yes. So I want to pray for you. Amen. From today, God will fight for you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. God will fight for you, but this demon must leave you. Amen. Come out! Demon! What are you doing here? Huh? You're doing what? Huh? You must leave this blood, huh? Are you hearing me? What are you eating this blood? Huh? I'm saying, why are you eating this blood? Huh? eating this blood. Speak, you dirty spirit. No? Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Come on. You demon. Come on. Huh? Come on. Come on. You dirty spirit. You demon! I touch that stomach. I press that stomach. In Jesus' mighty name. She's free. My name is <clears throat> my name is Ndibo. I'm from around here, Tembisa. Today you received a word of prophecy. Can you tell us what is it yeah, that the man of God has you. said to you, and I also confirm it? You. Yes, the man, man of God prophesied that uh, regarding regarding the I mean the blood. And it's very true, I can confirm that, because it's been long not seeing my prayer, and actually it seems like there was a date inside of me, because even, even my discharge, like, it was very strange to show that there, I mean, there, was, the, there was a date inside me. And for how long now uh, you haven't seen your, pe your period? Uh, I, th I think it's been eight months now, yeah, if, I, if I remember correctly. And did you try to go to the doctor to inquire what was happening with you? No, every time I keep on postponing about going to the doctor. And how was it affecting you, the fact that you were not seeing your periods normally? No, I was just think, thinking maybe, uh, maybe it's because I had a child in 2017, maybe it's some of the side effects. Yeah. And w when the man of God told you that it's a spirit that is eating up your blood, what is it that came to your mind then? No, the moment, the moment, <coughs> the moment you told me that, uh, what came, in, what came into my mind? Just that, uh, 
okay, like I can really say that whatever whatever that he was saying, like it was very true, because it's what it it is what it was happening in my life. Yeah. And now that you have received prayer for deliverance, how are you feeling? I am very happy today. I'm I'm, I'm very very happy today, and I believe that everything everything about my life is going to be well. Yeah. We need to pray for you. Yes. We need to pray for your kidneys. Thank you. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because now your blood is like it's boiling. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. If you go to the doctor, they'll say, I have blood, sugar, diabetes, many things. Yeah. So, yeah? Uh, That's true. That's true. Yes. I know it's true, but God is healing you. Thank Are you hearing me? Thank you. God is healing you today, but. Thank you. Because your stomach is giving you problems. Yes, it is. Huh? Yes. It's giving you problems, but God is healing you today. Lift him up. I'm coming to you. Say amen. Amen. My name is Bethel Ratete. I come from Bulugwan. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yes, uh, the prophecy I received was that uh, I've got a problem that started from my stomach. And uh, this problem is causing high blood pressure and sugar diabetes. Yeah. It's true. I don't know. Uh, it has been, I've been suffering from this this disease is uh, for quite some time and uh, even yesterday I was really suffering my foot was painful because of because of I, I'm not sure whether it was diabetes or gout you know but uh, uh, when he told me that uh, the problem has disappeared I'm glad that he said so you know and uh, he, he is not the first person to say that there was something in my stomach that is giving me these problems. How is this affecting you? In fact, I had to resign from my job the beginning of this year because I, I couldn't cope. I couldn't concentrate, you know. My work was uh, suffering. I fell asleep, got tired very easily, so I had to, I had to leave. I had to leave. That was the kind of suffering, the, the kind of thing that I went through. Yes. And now that you have received prayer, how are you feeling? I feel good. I feel like brand new. I mean, really. Uh, he told me about my kidneys that there was trouble there also. And I am glad that he, he pointed that out. And I feel like, uh, I feel brand new. And I'm going to, to run for a kilometer. What is it that you were unable to do now that you are able to do? The things that I, I was unable to do in the past, it had to do with, uh, you know, the, the, the pain that was unbearable generally. <coughs> Particularly yesterday's uh, pain, and I uh, started praying and uh, uh, hoping that it could leave me. But I, I thought this uh, was some kind. There was some kind of demon that was causing me this pain because uh, everything was, was okay with me. But Mr. now, Lady, uh, now I feel so good. Mr. Lady, uh, yeah. Your <laughs> to pray for you. There's a grace that God wants to give you. 
but you need to be serious with your salvation. Are you hearing me? Yes, huh? thank you. Mama, is your I husband? Just... In his prayer. Huh? It's true. In his serious prayer. Yes. Huh? Yes, my husband. You need to be serious with what? With the Lord. Huh? With, with, with working for the Lord. Yes. Yes. Do you go to church? I do sometimes, but not As every I'm week. telling you that you need to be more serious. Amen. Because this, people that are not happy about this mama. Jesus. Amen. Are you with me? Do you know that? Yes. Huh? Yes. Do you know that there are people that they don't want you? We are suffering. You are suffering? Yeah. Because of the issue of the families? Yes. Huh? Yes, man of God. <laughs> there are so many things happening in, in our family. So now, these are the people of the family that they are bringing complications in your marriage. Are you remember, sir? Yes. So you need to be, you, you must stand together with your, li your wife. You love your wife. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. That's I'm how hearing. this enemy will be defeated. Yes. Because this lady, she's tired. <laughs> yeah, we've gone through so many things, especially lately. Huh? Uh, we've gone through so many, many things. We, we've got uh, our last son, yeah, yeah, our second son. His name is Tepo. Wait. Wait. Come. No one is, is working in the you home. You people, they say, you are, what is happening, you're supposed to be doing a business now. Yes. yes. But everything's like it's falling down. Yes. yes. Are you hearing oh me? God, yes. yes. That's what I'm saying. There are people that are not happy about this marriage. Yes. In your family, this lady, she's a problem. <laughs> but <laughs> you need to stand together with your wife. Yes. Amen. Because the way you people are suffering is no longer good now. Yes. yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. You're losing oh everything. God. Yes. And even you now, they will make you sick very soon. He's sick. I'm sure you are seeing me for the first time. Yes. Huh? Yeah. So now, look what they are doing now. They are attacking you, attacking your children, everything, destroying, your, everything. destroying your marriage. Everything is falling apart. Everything is falling apart. Yes. Be serious with God. God will restore your life. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? I'm if hearing. you become serious with God, God will restore your life. I'm hearing you. Thank you. Because you now, to come to church, is, she's pushing you. you Amen. Come, you come when you want. When you don't feel... Uh, uh, were you not drinking? I used to drink, yes, huh? a lot. Yeah. Because I'm seeing bottles. When I'm speaking with you, I'm seeing alcohol in front of yes. you. Yes, mm. yes, it's huh? true. Yes, it's true. Leave this alcohol, you Amen. follow God. Amen. Okay. Amen. God will restore. And even your child is healed. Amen. People from today, you won't fight anymore. You won't fight. God is bringing peace in your marriage. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, you team. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because if you're not careful, they'll end up hitting you with stroke. Hmm. Because the whole of your blood here yeah, is yes, changing. Yes, yes, it's true. It's true, huh? man of God. It's true. It's always saying this. You this see, that this side. Enough. Your side, this one. Yes. yes. This one. Yes. It, it's, I'm telling you. It's always numb. It's, it's always numb. numb. When, this when I'm praying for you, I'm hearing a stroke on my side. God will restore you. You'll give us a testimony. You are healed. My name, my name is Peter Maluleka, and the person next to me is my wife, Lerato Tato Maluleka. Today you received a word of prophecy. Can you tell us the prophecy that you received today and also confirm it? Yes, I think there are two, two, three prophecies. First, my, my child, my second child, Tsepo, he's sick. Um, 
the second one is the issue of alcohol that I sometimes take alcohol a lot and the third one also is the issue of me coming to church because my wife she has to push me most of the, most of the time when we have to come to church so it means on Sundays uh, church will come as a second fiddle I will do some other things but the, th the church will be uh, something that is last on my mind so I can confirm that yes the prophecy is true on those three issues and the man of God also talked about the issue of you and your wife fighting. Can you also confirm that? Yeah, we used to, like a lot, especially on the issues of, 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 of uh, 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 me coming late sometimes, you know, uh, after work, you'll come late, very late at, at home. And also the issue of church, you know, uh, being, hes being hesitant to come to church was one of the issues that we were fighting about. She always pushes me, pushes me, pushes me to come to, come to church because we have got problems. You know, like I said, uh, my, my child, second child is not well. And then uh, we, 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 we've been everywhere, you know, to the doctors and everything. And, and, and the, the issue of me coming to church was really troubling her because she was pushing me always to come to church. And I, I, I was very hesitant. I'm always as hesitant to come to church. So it's true. I can confirm that we have fights with my wife. And some of these fights, sometimes I sit and tell myself, I used to tell myself that, um, are, are, we, are, we in the, are we the right partners? Are we the right people to be in this relationship together? Because we are always fighting, fighting, fighting. And the man of God mentioned something also about the families, that maybe uh, it's in my family. Uh, the lady, my wife, is not wanted in the family. So that one, I'm happy that the, the prophecy came out. It's something that I need to pray to my wife, to pray uh, about it for my wife, because she's my partner. If I don't pray for her, who is going to pray for her? I mean, I need to be her partner in, in prayers. Yes. And these challenges that the men of God spoke to you about, how were they affecting you and also your marriage? It, it was really affecting my marriages because even the finances. Uh, sometimes it will be end of the month and on the 5th or the 7th of the month, there's no money. You know, we. I still have to look around for the issues of... Uh, uh, paying school fees and so on for the kids so it was affecting us uh, I used to drink you know but not a lot but occasionally but same still it was affecting our our marriage uh, because I will sometimes come late very late from work and she was really worried about my life um, because I what she wanted was for me to say oh, if I come late from work just to call and say I'm safe you know so it really affected us because I'll be sitting there thinking about my problems, about our child who was sick, and about our, our uh, issues at home, my family issues, and so on. And then I'll sit there and come back home very, very late from, from work. So it really affected our relationship. Mama, can you also introduce yourself to us and tell us the person next to you and also confirm the prophecies that you received with your husband? My name is Tato Maluleka. The person next to me is my husband, Peter Maluleka. I can confirm the prophecy to be true, what men of God has said about our lives. Like, uh, he started telling my husband that he can't see him like being at church full time, like um, serving the Lord, you know, the way he should. And then he advised him, really, he should start uh, 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 saving the Lord, uh, 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 connecting with the Lord and leaving alcohol because he used to drink but not that much but these days since he's no more working I think because of so many things uh, the issue of the child also because of pressure now I will get you know bottles at the back of the sofas <coughs> and you know and then also the issue of him his his health like he's not feeling well he said he needs to be prayed for he needs prayers and <coughs> this thing of uh, the left side of his hand is always not all right and he's always complaining about that and then the issue of the family that men of God sees that they 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 don't like me or something like that um, 
Yeah, and we just want to thank God, you know, for locating us, you know, because we've been praying because of so many things happening in uh, in my family, and also he mentioned that we wanted to start business, but you know, even people will promise us, but you know, it will just end there. You know, the promises will be empty. So I just want to thank God, and I just want to thank to 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 say, I thank men of God, you know. Because I also wanted God to say something to my family. So I know since he located us, all is well with us. And now that you have received this word of change, what are you believing God for now? That God, what is it that you believe God is going to do in your family? I believe God, I, I believe that all is well with my family. All the things, the negative that were happening, God is going to bless us. God is going to fight for us. God is going to start us afresh. And yeah, God is going to give us a good health. And with my family, all is well with us. Amen. Where's your wife, sir? At home. Huh? At work. You know? Is it, is it work? You need to pray for your marriage. Yes. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. The devil is bringing complications in your marriage. Yes. Huh? Yes. And also the well, issue. Huh? We are separated. You are separated? Yes. There's a case that is following you people. Yes. Are oh, you hearing me? Yeah. Of breaking relationships and marriages. And there's also a case that has been there from a long time of having children everywhere in the family. Yes. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. So, I don't know. You don't want your wife back? Yeah, I need him back. Huh? I want him back. You want me to pray for you so that she must come back? Okay. Huh? Yes. I was working with him. Huh? I was working with him. Because when I'm praying for you, I'm hearing solely. So, it was, I heard that when I'm praying for you, even him is facing difficulties. Yes. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. But by praying for you, even solely is free. Okay. You're free. I'm Simpiwe Flanis. I'm come from Boxback. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yes, uh, the prophecy I confirm it through because uh, the pastor said to me, yeah, I have a problem with my wife. Yes, indeed, I have a problem. I mean, we are separated. So he said to me, uh, there is a, a case so that everyone, there's no one must have, must marry it. I mean, uh, I was the only one that paid lobola at home. My brothers, uh, bigger brothers and the younger brothers, there's no one that pays lobola. I was the only one. But last year, uh, I mean October, I was separated with my wife. So everyone was surprised because they know me and my wife are, are closer. So I even surprised because I was never know what was happening. But today... I find the prophet saying that uh, there is a case. Yes, I, I confirm it's true. And this separation between you and your wife, how did it affect you? It affect me. Uh, it affect me too much because I'm far from my child. I, I, I don't know. Man, it, it affect me a, a very big way because uh, I'm staying at far from my wife. I was supposed to hire some place to stay, to buy a fridge and everything in my place. So it, it affects me financially and uh, physically. Yes. And when the man of God picked you up today and told you about this family case, how did you feel? Yeah, you know, I feel free in my mind because I was never know what is happening. I, I just thought maybe my wife is busy outside there. I don't know because today I'm free because I know what is happening. And 
as the man of God did not locate only you but also your family, what is it that you believe that God will start doing in your family from today as you have received this word of change and deliverance? Yeah, as from today, I believe God is going to uh, make a big change in my family. Everyone is going to marry. My brothers and my sisters are going to marry because uh, the man of God said to me, I'm free and my family is free. <coughs> yes. Huh? You can't. I can't do it. You can't do that. I can't cancel operation. Hmm? Huh? It was supposed to happen today. She was supposed to go for operation today. On the 30th, she knows herself. Today. Yes, she knows. And I say let's cancel operation. It's not me, it's God. This stupid calendar. She wrote now. Huh? She even wrote on this stupid calendar when she got it. Ah, give glory to God. <laughs> she wrote it today on the calendar. Yeah, on this stupid calendar. Heaven. When she came here to church, she came with a gown and a slippers. She said, today I'm going to give birth. I'm going to the hospital. But it's not her time. Come out, you demon. Come out. Leave that stomach. You demon. Leave this stomach. Come out. Come out. Come out, you demon. baby must come out. I boom this baby. Come out! Stand up, sissy. Stand up. In Jesus' mighty name, I cancel this problem. You're free. My name is Posha. I come from Limpopo. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Okay. The prophecy I received is like the prophet was saying he's cancelling operation. And then today when I came to church, I just had a feeling that today I was supposed to give birth. But the doctor gave me a different date for next month. And then as I was coming, I bought um, during offering, we got the prophetic calendar and I wrote there. I, just, I wrote, uh, I will give birth to today, and I also wrote safely. Uh, because pre previous weeks I've been going to the, to the hospital, they said my baby was in bridge position. So I've been having complications. But then last week, Wednesday, I went to the clinic, they checked my baby, and then they said she's no longer in a bridge position. Yeah, but as I was sitting today, I just kept feeling that I'm going to go to a hospital because I was having some pains. And how did you feel when the man of God, that it, when he told you that he's cancelling operation? Uh, for me, it felt good because I knew that uh, somehow I was under attack and I was at a point where it's like I had accepted that it's either I'll give birth with operation, but I was just hoping for God to intervene in the whole process and to give birth to a healthy baby. And how do you feel about this word of change that you've received today? I feel that God has intervened and he has not left, he has not left my side yet. 
Amen. I want you to go and pray for your children. Huh? Okay. Oh, you know me? Yes. I want you to go and pray for these twins. Huh? Yes, these twins. I want you to go and pray for these children. Huh? Yes. Because you people, there's a spirit that is limiting every one of you. Yes, huh? yes. God, it's, it's like the devil is trying to block everything about marriage. Yes, it's huh? true. That's true. You know, the plan is, the devil just wants you people to, to have partners that you later you'll fail is my husband. You understand? Yes, I understand. So, but let's pray so that God must break this case. Amen. Number two, go and pray for these twins. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because in the future, they will take care of you. Amen. I'm telling you. Amen. In the future, these children, they will take care of you. Amen. Huh? I'm Tabisile Koza from Pumalanga. Can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? I receive a prophecy that I must pray for my twins. It's true, I have a twins. And then again, I have a, I must pray for my marriage because the uh, devil wants to separate our marriage. It's true. Uh, we had a fight um, almost uh, every day. So especially last month, it was difficult. We had a long fight. So I believe the, the prophecy is true because I see that the devil, uh, devil is fighting for my marriage. So I confirm the prophecy that is true. And how were this fight affecting you? Uh, it affects me uh, because, especially to my, my children, that's why I, I, I see that it's important to pray for them because it affected them, especially at school, even even the house, they are no longer happy. So I, it affects my family to a lot of things. Yes. And were you praying that God should intervene concerning these challenges? Yes, today when I came here, I pray that God, uh, I need deliverance yes. and I, I need you to intervene in this marriage, especially to the intercession uh, uh, process. I prayed a lot about my marriage and my family. And when today the man of God picked you up and told you about yes. what you were going through, how did you feel? I'm, I'm so rel uh, relieved, I'm so blessed and I'm so happy because I see that God is working on in this uh, church. Yes. And now that he has prayed for you and also given you a word of change, what are you believing God for? I believe that God is hearing to our prayers and I believe uh, God is with us always. And then I believe in the prophecy that I received today. And I also believe that uh, there is God in Charis, there is God in this house, is waking each and every day. So I believe I, I'm going to do what the uh, prophet uh, told me to do so that I can keep my marriage. Amen. You, when you sleep, they feed you. Yes, it's true. Oh, you know me? Mm. They feed you always, and there's a demon that is sleeping with you also. Yeah. Huh? Yes. This demon is making you every time when you. So I want to pray for you today. Are oh, you hearing me? Amen. Because there's nothing that is waking out. Yes. Huh? Nothing. So, but today God will release you from this prison. You are saying what? You are a stupid say, man. Huh? You are saying what? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Come out. Come out. 
your demon. Destroy you. Never. Never. Come out. Leave that stomach, you demon. Leave it, leave it. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, bed. Yeah? It's on, Alma. So, come on, bed. 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 Come In Jesus' name. Oh, my name is Lewarang Malaji. I'm staying here at 129. Zone 8 in Mandela. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? I received the prophecy that... They are feeding me when I'm asleep and I'm also sleeping with a spiritual husband, which is true. Sometimes when I woke up in the morning, I feel my mouth being hot, like maybe I, I'm fe I, I was feed, feeding, feeding with a, a hot food or a poison food. And sometimes when I wake up, I'm wet. That is, there's something that is sleeping with me at night. And at this time, it's happening for a long now. And, and I also received the, that uh, uh, I'm suffering. Nothing is moving on. And uh, that is true. There is nothing that is moving on in the place of job, marriage, and everything. Also facing a rejection from the family. Okay. Yes. And how were these things affecting your life? Yes. I'm just living by the grace of God. This thing is disappointing. My, I, sometimes I can't even pray when I am thinking of it. But by the grace of God, um, every day I wake up uh, being okay, coming to the place of God to work and in the, place, in the house of God, cleaning in the house of God. I think that's the only way that is helping me to, to prosper in life. Can I come to you? And when the man of God picked you up today and told you of what is happening in your life, how did you feel? I felt that today is my day. Uh, I'm released. I thank God of Charis. And now that you've received deliverance, how are you feeling and what is it that you believe God will now start doing Say in your amen. life? Amen. I feel light now that it's like something has come out. So I'm feeling happy that I believe that Tomorrow I'm starting a, a new job, so I believe that the God of Charis have made it, so my life I will be prosper in life. Everything will be fine. Amen.